Hello Voss, hi, how are you guys doing? Hilma Daniel here, welcome to my channel. If you're coming across us for the very first time, please do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, please, um, you know, um, welcome, welcome, do, do, like, do, comment. Ne? Thank you for sticking around. Ne? Now, there's one thing that I need us to speak about and I'm also going to try to make this very, very short, as short as I can, it, as short as it can. Ne? So actually, guys, uh, we need to talk about Kaspanyov's uh, situation. So it's it's his baby mama's birthday. And the baby mama is, um, you know, telling a story of how hard uh, the past years have been because um, he, she, you know, the, the, the baby daddy uh, ended up um, marrying a side chick who was a childhood friend name. And um, the baby was battling with cancer. While the baby was battling with cancer, um, the, the, the baby daddy was busy. Ne? Um, with infidelity and um, um, ended up marrying the, the baby mama uh, what the, the childhood friend but in, in the way um, she spoke about he wanted me back but I cannot have him back because of that, 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 that. I cannot trust somebody who you know um, you know um, like who was treating her like that in a way during that difficult time and 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 um, you know, as we speak, um, the the baby is is free of cancer, and um, she was just thanking God, and that she have given her life to Jesus, and the um, the husband have given their life to Jesus, and yeah, you know, I, I really need to comment to comment on this situation. Ne? I want to comment on this situation. Um, number one, ne? um, <laughs> number one. I, I should say, um, um, uh, first of all, ne? Uh, giving a man a child does not guarantee him being in your life. Ne? Just like a marriage is not guaranteed. This man can wake up one day and decides, I got, I found the love of my life, I'm going. You know, um, the, the problem comes when you give your life and your heart to the next person so much without leaving a room for disappointment. And that goes for all of us across. You know, so many times I like to tell women that please stop giving men children before they marry you. Don't. Mistake. Biggest mistake. If he wants a child, let him marry you and then you give him a child. That is the right thing to do. Unfortunately, there are situations. Ne? There are situations that really happens. But if you can, avoid a child at any cost. I first of all want to say, uh, we, we, I sympathize with the mother because she was going through a difficult moment. And I want to say that it's very difficult for you, for a person to, you know, forgive the next person when they needed them. Um, on, on mom, when they needed them at times that are very, very difficult and they're not available. No? Um... But this is one thing that I want to, you know, um, tell women ne? before we say that um, he married the side chick. When you are not married, what makes you think that you are the main girlfriend? Men are liars. First of all, I want to let you know that when you have a boyfriend and that boyfriend is telling you I have a best friend of a woman, a childhood best friend. Uh, already that person, me, I think we need, we, need, we need a separate video on this childhood, being friends with the opposite sex. Or did I already speak about this? I, there's no way I can be best friends with the men, best friends. Because the most of them that I've been best friends with ended up liking me. Not best friends, but like close friends. Um... You know, and um, there's no such things as a guy having a best friend, man. <laughs> I don't want to, to really... And I've seen a situation very close to me where somebody have been telling me that is their best friend. And next thing later after, yes, I, I picked up that that was literally his ex. And, um, you know... Um, <laughs> they're dating and she know she was told that i know about her she was told that you know what ne? she she knows about you and i don't know focal i don't know nothing i'm just seeing things that are confusing me but that 
am being told that is my best friend. We are just best friends. So I want to make it very clear that we must wake up from the, the dream world that we are in and face the reality. A man cannot be best friend with another woman. Something is not right. So before you wake up and say she cheated on me with a best friend, chances are very high. That person is not a, a best friend. That person has been just another woman like you are. He was just loud about you and not loud about the other. But truth is one thing that I've realized is that sometimes you would think these men respect you, but they don't respect you. Chances are very high when they're with other women that are saying bad things about you. There was even a situation in my life where a, a man in my life, baby mama, could say that I am the one that keeps a pop cut for him. That's why his children are not being supported. And it's, it's, it's a man that gave that information, but I don't have a bob card. But I am in a position where I feel this is my person. But you know that person is literally not your person at all because the things that they say about you outside there is, is opposite. It's, it's, it's actually um, um, opposite of even being loved, being um, cared for. Is, is the opposite of all of those words. And I am saying this because these are things that happens. We must stop making life look like it's so perfect. Before you find yourself in situation, the only mistake that this woman made is he gave this man a child. And also another thing that we need to, 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 um, to address is that one thing that I've realized about men. You know, I was listening to Google Scott Tennis um, uh, video or not vid interview on on the venting podcast where she was talking about her losing her child and all those emotions name and one thing that i picked up from everything is the point where she said me and monday the husband we had problems before name and um he could while the baby was going through all these things he, he goes out and drink name um while she was also going through her problems because they are having a child with um, a, con condi a condition. Um, and and it, I like it when she said at the end that we do not want to, you know, amend our relationship on the ground that we are going through what we are going through. Um, because I want to, to, to assure you he's also not doing good. Now, one thing that I've realized is that I want to put it here to say that um, when a child has cancer, uh, the father loves the child just as much as the mother loves the child. Yeah? Um, chances are, for us women, we don't go to bars when we have problems and drink alcohol. But one thing that I've made, I've, I've observed, yeah? you can correct me if I'm saying the wrong thing, but it's my observation. When men have problems, they go to bars and drink. When they have problems that are really hard, they just go and drink with their friends. For some unknown reasons, I don't know whether they think alcohol takes away their problems, they drink. With us women, we talk, we go to our friends, we talk, we get advice and so on and so forth and so forth. In drinking, when you are intoxicated, when you are vulnerable, because for some unknown reasons, men are not taught to be vulnerable from the beginning. And I think that is the mistake that we have made as parents. We just need to correct it. We must allow men to speak to be vulnerable. They are human beings. When you get drunk, when you are intoxicated, you don't think straight. When you are not thinking straight, you are at higher risks of making mistakes and at a higher risk of cheating. Ne? And also one thing about men, once they have more money, like Casper, he is at a risk of too many women that will be throwing themselves at him because he have money. And they just want to do what? To gain money because nowadays uh, with the thing also that is put in our brain that men must provide for us men must give us money we don't want to work now we are targeting men with money for some unknown reasons we, we are now manipulating them in a way they we must they must we give them sex they give us money we we live in that world even if it's not all of us doing that we live in that world ne? now um you know um what i'm trying to say here is that Men, when they are going through through something, that's why I want to believe that Caspar, in the end, he, he, he gave his life to Jesus. He knows he made a mistake and he had to ask for, um, for what? For um, forgiveness and stuff. And, and you never know for, for his life to be changed around, including forgiveness for his sins, including maybe for his child to become better. 
ne? Um, his mother, on the other hand, the baby's mother, also say confessed that she also didn't know Jesus. So she also had to, you know, you know, end up, you know, um, giving her life back to Jesus and, um, you know, understanding who Jesus is and, 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 and. But the point of saying that lady knew about me and my son's condition, I want to tell another woman that women don't fight one another. Do not fight one another. You will be very shocked that that woman didn't even know much about your child's condition or that woman was probably told that you two are not going to work out. That's why she has been on the side. You'll be very shocked. These men of nowadays, they cannot be trusted. If we cannot live in a world where we stand on our grounds, you know, and, and love ourselves so much that we leave room for disappointment, we will walk around shifting blames or including other women in equations of our problems that our men are causing. Ne? There is no way that a woman can be best friends with a man. You know, um, I had to learn this the hard way, that there is no way. And those women that you are just looking at and thinking, mm, she's acting weird. No, she's not acting weird. Your man is giving her so much room, so much permission, so much comfort for her to even be to be to be to be. I, trust and believe um i had a woman who, who came to my house but that woman have a thing with the person that i'm dating and i didn't know and and that woman when i had a conversation with her she said to me um i didn't know i thought you knew the whole time and i believed her i'm not even at war with her i believed her it's not time to fight her but it's time to understand so that you know what you are dealing with Th that very moment i stood and i was like and i i hear you completely that lady came to my house but the whole time a person i am in a relationship is, is tell with is telling me that is my friend my best friend so guys um sometimes uh, eliminate women from these dramas ne? eliminate them eliminate them completely i am asking you to be wise you know one one thing that i i keep saying is that i keep saying um when men goes to bars they give each other wisdom they they talk while they're drinking as women we hardly go out so we have got no we don't really find um wisdom anywhere else except for um like when we are sharing stories like that one thing about me ne? i am not ashamed of a bad story in my life i will tell it no matter how bad it is actually i keep telling people that i am the bad person to treat bad i am not a good person to treat bad because when you treat me bad me i will tell the story <laughs> I'll tell the story because in most cases, I realize that a pe when you react, people will think you are a terrible person, but sometimes you are very, very innocent. So it, with me, I would, in most cases, I would tell my stories. If you do me, I would tell the story. I would tell the story. So trust and believe. Sometimes when you think another woman, I, I, I shared one, one, um, one, um, one one video here of me being a side chick and if you can look for it ne? but that guy had a girlfriend that he was in a relationship with for three years and i didn't know i did not know i made him a profile picture and just like the doom it's a whole of lot of things happening and then after a few days he's confessing to me what's going on you can go and watch the whole video there but trust and believe that guy was even willing to give me half of his salary you know as as a maintenance every month but you, you another woman could look at me and say i am a psychic but at the same time that guy when i'm saying i'm not getting involved in these things he didn't he's like trying harder to to know have us work on that relationship but after i excused myself they are married him and that lady they are a married couple you know um but I, I could sit here and be like, he was asking me, I denied. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not he was asking you, you denied. He was just asking you. He just, men comes back to us to see if we are still stupid. To accept them back so that they start treating me like, treating us like idiots. Hey, because you have been with him cheating the whole time. He's asking you back so that he sees if he can come back in your life and continue cheating in peace. Because this guy, Kasper, he said, even in one of the confessions um, podcasts that he said he had been, you know, cheating too much, you know. Um, 
But one thing that I've realized, picked up, is that when he had been cheating, the, where was the girlfriend, the baby mama? Exactly. So he understood that mm, this wouldn't be an issue neither. So when he was like, no, this wouldn't be an issue neither, he thought the baby mama was always going to be there, you know? And then the only thing maybe that mattered now is that you, you cheated with a person that you've been calling your best friend and wrong timing. The baby is sick, but you are just gallivating in the streets. And worse, they got married, you know? And worse, the guy changed, gave himself to Jesus, changed, and he's in his marriage as, as, a, as a changed guy. Guys, this, this man will be the end of us one day, but we cannot run away. We will still coexist in a world like this. Truth is, we all need to come back to the drawing board. All of us men, all of us women. As women, we must come back and truly love men because now we have made it look like men, we, we, if they don't have money, they cannot love, they are not worthy of us. Now they don't take us serious anymore. Men, on the other hand, they don't even ask us to be their girlfriends anymore. They just want to flirt, to flirt. Next thing, doom, in a relationship. Next thing, doom, you see? In bed. Hey? Next thing, doom. You know, you, 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 they, they are not intentional anymore. They are not communicating their intentions anymore. And, and, and men also, they lie a lot. Men lie a lot. I don't know where these type of lyings um, are taking them, but guys, one thing that I am going to tell you out of this whole situation is that um, remove another woman from a battle with your partner. Remove another woman from a battle with your partner. We will talk about exposing one another once we have broken up. The problem with us is that when we have problems in our relationships and in our marriages, we do not want to talk about them while we are still together. We do not want to say, oh, my partner did me like this and I forgive him. We don't want to speak about that. But once we separate, now all of a sudden, bombs. He have been cheating. He have been. Now all of a sudden he have been cheating. But while you were there, while he was still cheating, you do not want to talk about the infidelity. But now that you are gone, now all of a sudden you are healing. But you were never healing when you were in that relationship and he was uh, cheating left, right, and that the moment you find out he's cheating, trust and belief, start healing already from there. You are on your own. Start using condoms already there. You are on your own. You will die. There are STDs and there are HIVs in the streets of this world. Start already looking after yourself there. Start already removing your heart from the equation. Start already slowly but surely. Start already removing your heart from the equation. That is not the time to love him more. That is the time to love him less. He, he does not deserve your love. When a man um, wants to be loved, he will love you first. You know, I keep saying that I have zero business loving my man more than he loves me. He must love me first and then I will love him back. If he does not love me, I have zero business loving a man that does not love me. A man must love, you, because that's where the danger is. When you are loving someone so much more than they love you, you are going to hurt. When you hurt, you will end up talking a whole lot of things when things go south. And also when you put yourself in situations, when you give birth to children's women, we are the mothers, we carry these children. The love, the mother's love. The mother's love cannot be compared to any other. We are not saying men don't love their children. We just don't know to, to what extent. But as women, we love our children. Give birth to the number of children you can afford to, to, to support. And uh, be ready to be a mother and a father to a child at any given time. Because men do disappear. Men do, um, do hurt women. I needed to speak to women. Because it's about time, guys, we wake up. It's about time we wake up. If we are not waking up, it's, we must stop fighting one another. We must stop even bringing other women in this whole thing. Because the whole thing of saying she, the woman knew about my situation, that woman does not owe you anything. The only person that owes you loyalty is Kasper. Kasper who have been cheating with the whole nation as he said. But why is it that when he cheated with this woman, one who is the best friend, beautiful, sexy, it's an issue. And he ended up marrying her. But when you have been cheating with other people, it's not an issue. Let us leave room. These cheaters, once he starts cheating, just know that he's out. 
he's not with you one day he's going to wake up and leave you and go you know um i, I i've seen um even in marriages i keep saying that um you can be in a relationship with a man then he starts cheating then he starts cheating and one of the good days he will just wake up and go and never come back we have such men that have left their wives and children and they're living somewhere somehow somewhere but not home but women are holding on i've seen those situations so many of them growing up that's why i i keep telling women that give birth to children you can afford to 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 to, to support it does not matter whether that man have a lot of money or not because when that day comes that man is going to disappear and he will leave you with problems you find life very difficult because now you don't even have the financial um, capacity to take care of your children. Um, I, I always say that don't look at other people's situations and say it can never be me. Look at other people's situations and say, okay, what do I learn from this situation? A lot of men are liars. But I want to say that as women, we are also making it worse because we are not loving men. We only want them to take care of us financially we are using them for money now they are also hurting us back nobody is innocent in this love game we have made love so terribly bad all of us being it men being it women now we are just in a whole mess hurting one another instead of loving one another correctly now let us stop fighting other women i had to learn it the hard way those women those ones they are being lied to just like you are being lied to you in the house stop thinking you are the main one you are not special that man is playing the both of you just like a ball that is what they are doing so that girl if she has been there as a best friend and now she's married ah guys something is not right they've been chopping they must not lie to us so just now 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 and now their husband and wife ah they've been chopping each other the whole time this casper and that wife of his Mm -mm. They are not side chicks. They've been chopping one another. All, all along, they've been chopping one another and they just loved each other. We, we just brainwashed by understanding that the one that have been a baby mama is the main one. Mm -mm. And by the way, who says you are the main one when you're not even married? Mm -hmm. Men can just be here sleeping with whoever they want. These ones, that's what they do until they make a decision to say you are my one and only. We are moving forward. And in worse, some of them, they can still say you are my one and only and just keep you here because they know you are the one that derolates a lot of nonsense while I'm still gallivating in the streets of Mjolo. Ne? So let us stop fighting one another as women. And uh, that is one thing that I learned that it's not sometimes if you take a moment to listen to another woman and I got the privilege of listening to another woman just last month or last of last month I had a chat with another woman it wasn't didn't start off well but later on I gave her an ear it, it, it showed me that she's not the problem the problem is what I have here next to me this is the problem name that is it from me hilma daniel i will see you guys in my next video do look after yourself do take care of yourself um use those condoms even in those marriages trust and believe you use them ne? use them get those preps when necessary drink them get those antibiotics you will die you will die while you are there just thinking he's your man he's not your man he, he's just out there in the street so stop blaming other women i just had i just i just had to, to comment on this whole thing to say if we can have this mindset life will be much easier and you we would check out emotionally early because what i'm picking up is that casper have said they have been cheating the whole time i don't know whether she, the baby mama caught him or not but the baby mama was relaxed now that he's cheating with the best friend and married her it's it's an issue you know these niggas be cheating they they're out here cheating they're all over the place they will bring you diseases these ones they will bring you the hivs and the stds they cannot be trusted i'll see you guys in my next video that's it for me